Hey, hey. Hey, look. Comment ça va? Hello, how are you? Ça va très bien, toi? Nice to see you. So, what do you think of uh, 19 now after it's been in barrel, it's bottled? Do you still have the same feelings? I work in Bordeaux, so the last one is always the best. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> no, what is quite interesting for us is the fact that at the beginning, we had the sensation that uh, a 19 is going to be more ripe than 18, going to be more voluminous than 18. And in fact, in bottle, I think both vintages are quite interesting, but in two opposite directions. At the end, 18 is more round, uh, voluminous, sweet, uh, silky, uh, ripe, uh, intense. And 19, which is for sure uh, high level uh, uh, quality uh, vintage, mean to be a little bit more academic with a certain power, uh, a, a huge density, but more importantly than just the density, a huge, a huge depth. Uh, depth. Yeah. The mm -hmm. wine have plenty of layer, uh, the length is, is, is huge. And yeah. the way uh, the wine evolutes on the nose is typical from the DNA of, of, of Cheval Blanc. You have yeah. in, in the glass all the families of aroma uh, from red and, and black fruits, uh, 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 freshness, uh, licorice, mint, eucalyptus, and a lot of flour that yeah. come from the 40% of Cabernet France that we have. Uh, so we have a, a lot of violets, roses, lilac. Yeah. So, so the perfume is, is, is very impressive and very uh, typical from, from, from Cheval Blanc. Why do you think it's actually true what you say, particularly the top wines, but all the wines in 19 are very um, aromatic? I think it's due to something very important, the fact that during September, the night became cooler. So ah. the, the day was, was, was very nice with sunshine, good temperature, uh, dryness and so on. But uh, uh, the, the temperature in the night degrees a lot. So the, the difference between the temperature of the night and the temperature of the, the day helps the tannins to be perfectly ripe. So there is a huge density, but very ripe and delicate uh, tannins with a huge precision. This is probably one of the most precise uh, 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 palate for a long, long time in Cheval Blanc. So it's like, uh, for me, it's like a, a, a picture with uh, plenty of pixels. Uh, uh, the resolution of the tannins are quite impressive. Uh, and we, we preserve, due to the cool temperature of the night, we preserve a very nice complexity of aromas plus a huge intensity. We have the sensation that the fruit and the aromas are alive. Uh, you have a totally. huge juiciness, you have the sensation that you just uh, pick the berries on the Exactly, and eat the grape. Yeah. So, so, so the wine is what, still alive. Uh, what was the difference, for example, how cool did it get at night compared to during the day? So we, we have some, some nights at, at, at uh, uh, 17, 18 uh, uh, during September, uh, mm -hmm. and the day was very warm. We have some, some 32, 33, 35 uh, degrees wow. due to uh, uh, the peaking. Uh, and, and we were very careful, uh, you know, uh, uh, the philosophy of Cheval Blanc, uh, we are very careful not to pick too late. Uh, to yeah. pick at the right time. And we needed a, a big uh, 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 time to pick all Cheval Blanc in 19. So we picked some Cabernet Franc in the middle of the Merlot, which is quite unusual. Um, and I think this is a year where the clay performed very, very well. Uh, a little bit better than the, 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 the gravel. Everywhere in Bordeaux where you have a touch of clay, the wine show more uh, uh, alive, more fresh, more uh, 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 juicy, uh, because on pure gravel, on a very dry vintage, you can uh, 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 have a certain slowdown of the maturation. Uh, yeah. What about limestone, the calcare? 
so I, I, I didn't test enough uh, uh, due to the pandemic. We, we, we didn't yeah. test uh, as usual, but uh, it's going to be a very nice uh, vintage for, for, yeah, for it's good. everywhere. You have a good regulation. Uh, yeah. That's the reason why Cheval Blanc performed very well in 19, because we have that huge uh, uh, clay uh, uh, layer uh, that preserves freshness and, 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 and delicacy. And for the limestone, this is the same. Yeah, because also, for example, um, Palmerol was fantastic. And it wasn't just the, it wasn't, of course, the blue clay in the plateau was great, but also places with um, lots of gravel, but clay underneath. No, perfect. Exactly. No exactly. problem. But I think you're right. Clay really excelled, really crazy good. Yeah, 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 for sure. And, 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 and the recipe for us in 19 was to pick the Merlot earlier and the Cabernet Franc later. That's the yeah. reason why the scale, the window of picking was very long because we wanted to keep the freshness on the Merlot and to uh, polish completely uh, the, the, the structure and the tannins on the Cabernet Franc. Uh, what about, um, so did you pick the Cabernet Franc after the rain um, in September, at the end of September? It, it, it was a... Uh, close to the end. We have few yeah. plots that we kept for after the rain, but the large majority was picked before. Uh, okay. We finished the 4th of October. Okay. Yeah, because the rain was like 27, 28, 29, mm -hmm. I think. Exactly. Yeah. Interesting. Although most of the producers said it didn't have a big effect on them. Of course, they're going to say that, but um, I didn't really taste diluted wines i think if there was of course with the top producers no problem but any dilution was more from too much crop i think too many grapes exactly. but this was small small producers exactly, right? exactly. i so, think at the opposite in some place in the medoc the rain was at the right time not to enter in a stress uh, 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 exactly uh, that's what they said like, you know, it was just about starting to get dehydrated and the Cabernet, the, it rained and then helped it a little, little bit or maybe just, you know, golfied the grape a little bit and it helped it. Okay, let's try the um, Cheval Blanc. Yes, I don't know if it's the best Cheval Blanc ever. I know this is one of the most Cheval Blanc ever because all the diversity of the vineyard is in the bottle. 8% Cabernet Sauvignon. Et on les sent, hein? We, we, we find... Yeah, that. on air. Ouais, t'as ce côté un peu cassis, là, qui est... Qui est oui, exactement, qui... black currants, cassis. Black currants, I was right. just writing. Ouais. That's weird. It's like, to, it's like smelling poyac. Yeah. You know, for me, if there is just one thing that sum up Cheval Blanc, is the huge diversity of different soil, different age, different grab variety and when you can put everything together this is like a, a, a diamond with multi facets you have all the diversity of the vineyard that enter in the in, in the bottle so at the end it brings something very complex very complete very coherent each plot have its own characteristic to bring to the blend Whoa. And you see the impact of the, the freshness and the acidity. Yeah. It's, it's rare to have in the same one the volume, the density, the power, plus the freshness, yeah. the acidity, the delicacy. Incredible. You have both, in fact. It's really like you said, it's energy and it's like contrasted. Like boom, 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 boom. You know, it's, exactly. it's exactly. like you like you explained it. Tan and acidity, tan and acidity. Exactly. And everybody bring his own uh, personality. For example, there yeah. is some some young vines in 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 nineteen. There is a uh, ten percent of plots that have under ten years old, but it's bring energy. Uh, uh, like in a family when there is some teenager around the table, they are alive and they bring something different than the, 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 the old people. So uh, 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 that diversity is something very important in this kind of wow. land. And also the 
finish is very powerful, like the tannins. Uh, but they're really fine, but you really can sense it. It's just holding back and... Oui, for huh? sure. We, we have both quantity and quality of tannins. There is a huge yeah. amount of tannins, but they are all very ripe and, 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 and perfectly uh, uh, drawn. And the length is just unbelievable. Uh, you, you still have on the, on the finish uh, aromas uh, yeah. uh, uh, from fruit and flour. And always the, the specificity of Cheval Blanc, which is licorice, mint, something very refreshing on the finish. Uh, like You're cashmere. right. You're totally right. This is a, a really classic Cheval Blanc, but it has more power than in the wow. pack. You know what I mean? Exactly. That's, that's the really? reason why I say 49, because we, I have the sensation yeah. that a mix of an outstanding and right vintage plus a classical one. Uh, yeah. It's like if you mix in a glass uh, 10 and 9. Uh, yeah. you, you have both, in fact, or 15 and 16. You have classicism plus uh, 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 sexiness, uh, opulence, uh, intensity. Incredible wine. Uh, this, this is perhaps one of the best cheval we, 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 we produce in, in, in the new winery for sure. But for I a totally long agree. Time, right, I can't think of anything at this level. So I can't remember if I get nine or 10, but this is more, let's say, um, more reserved, but with, uh, with incredible uh, length and power. Yeah. Like awesome. really, I think sort of what you guys really want to do. Because I think whenever you tried to make Cheval Blanc when, in the past, even when you weren't there just with Pierre, if they tried to make it really powerful, then it sort of lost its complexity. Right? Oh, sure. Yeah. And this has like all the complexity, but incredible power, but it's reserved yeah. right at the end. You can yeah. feel it just there. Just Yeah, for sure. I wow. completely agree. All right. Well, congratulations on that. Felicitations uh, for the Cheval Blanc. Thank you so much and, and uh, keep safe. Uh, and, you and too. Okay. Compliment. Bye.